what what are the challenges with the the title of urban clothing right because we when we we think about that and we think about the brands that have come and stay and have sustainability they never have that title but when we look at those categories yeah we kind of see them come and go well listen they all come and go but it is all it is all why do you put that title on it right um because is it urban because black people wear it or black people design it black people wear levi's and adidas black people design levi's and adidas too mm -hmm. right so you know people do put you in boxes um you know you know i always looked at fubu as you know you have levi's who's an american cowboy you have uh you know uh fubu who's american street kid um but it's hard to chase after those things that are defining who you are right because food was known as baggy clothes now in europe we never made baggy clothes it, it was here mm. um that uh, we love it um and the reason why we made it, and then then people say well you know you're the ones who made baggy clothes the, the kids had their pants hanging off their ass no our baggy clothes actually fit it's supposed to be worn the right side so you have a lot of movement in it kids are wearing clothes hanging off their ass Sometimes they'll be the skinniest jeans I've ever seen in my life. I don't even know how these cats is walking. Fit. That's why. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> their knees be holding together, man. When they walking, even they be over down here and they see in the underwear. So it's all you know. You you there's going to be a lot of perceptions of your brand, and, and that's a good thing. It's a bad thing when you get so big, you can't you know really you know contain what the perception is. You have to look at it as this is my core consumer. The football core consumer was uh, the core consumer was young males, eighteen to thirty-five, who initially wanted to support African American companies, but they didn't necessarily. The only choice they had was either kente colored type of clothing, and or uh, you know other stuff that we were making, you know, uh, airbrush stuff. But they wanted Ameri uh, They wanted very. They wanted a jean suit to be blue and not red, or not yellow and not green, um, and they were willing to pay a little bit extra for quality. So let's revisit this Kardashian situation. How, how, how did your relationship start with them? And what did, what's that story? Uh, I had a company <clears throat> called Heatherette I was investing in, and I think it was Paris Hilton and the girls from Danny Kane were coming to walk the fashion show, and they had this girl with them who was, uh, you know, kind of like she had a microphone, and it was Kim. And, um, and, you know, I was like, oh, okay, what's up? And talked to him. And and then Chloe and I started hanging out. She became like one of the boys. Like Chloe and um we spent New Year's together. And then um uh Kim started to blow up. I she was with uh Reggie, I think, and uh and she started to blow up. And then Chloe at the time was like, you know, D, I, you know, I don't know if I really want to get out there like that. And was, she was just one of the boys. We were just hanging out. And uh, I remember her, the, the Kim video came out and the show was already kind of like in pilot form. And a lot of people think that Kim had did the video or Ray J, whoever, right, did the video to become famous. They actually were going to cancel the show um, due to that. Um, and then Chris, uh, very, very smart. Chris had done a lot of this stuff prior to that. Um, and Chris said, listen, you know, I know everybody. She knew the Olsen twins family and everything else. And she said, hey, why don't you help us start to, to brand the girls and, and help us with the direction? And we were just like family. And I just, we just, we just kept helping them. I, I had always done that. You know, a lot of people don't know that um, with FUBU, I was one of the top um, product placement people in um we would put we would put our stuff in almost if you had reality shows, we put our stuff in almost two hundred and fifty videos annually. So you would have a lot of the music artists and the labels call us and say, "Hey, we need an extra twenty, ten or twenty thousand dollars for to rent this house, these cars, or whatever the case is," and put the brands in there. So I'd put my brand in there. I'd put Jeep Cherokee in there, Kawasaki in there, and various other things. And I just love the girls. You know, I I, I um. I dealt with a lot of celebrities and you have a lot of people who are, they're celebrities, um, but then you have people who are business people first and they're celebrities second. Business people first are the ones who are people of their word. They end up, they show up on time. They don't have the massive crew looking for the brown bags around them. And those business people are like the Kardashians, Pitbull, Lennox Lewis. You have certain people that, uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. You have certain people that you just relate to, right? They're just good people. On the other hand, you have the other people who are, you know, 
we, we didn't we don't all necessarily roll the same or move the same. You have other people who just come from different backgrounds. And I let Keith handle that. You know, <laughs> Keith the one who's gonna go to, to the studio all night with old dirty bass. Let you know, <laughs> do that track again. You, you, when you when you're shooting something, you wear something for me. All right, I got this one, mom. You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> And that's the great thing about us as the 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 Fubu guys. I have to say, my partners, we were able to be in four different places at four different times with four different uh, points of view. Um, and then you got Jay, the really classy, super, you know, the dress one who was just fly all the time. And you got Carl, he kind of floats in between us all. So, so, so that's how we always were really effective. We could be in four different places. <laughs> <laughs>